Hi, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make some um, banana bread. Um, it's a very old recipe. Um, I think it dates back to the 1930s. Um, and it started in, in American cookbooks uh, originally. And it's changed over the years, but the principle of the um, banana bread remains the same. It's, it, it's beautiful, actually, and it doesn't need a lot of... Um, cookery genius <laughs> which is why I make it now this is the English version I suppose but it's a twist on the old 1930s recipe and this is what you'll need you'll need some milk flour butter golden syrup eggs and old bananas <laughs> these are old um, if they're too fresh and too new they don't give that off that lovely banana um, taste. So it is actually better to use old bananas. You'll need a sieve and a bowl. I've got some chopped hazelnuts here, but you can use chopped walnuts, or if you have a nut allergy, just remove it from the equation. Um, there's no caster sugar in this recipe. Um, the golden syrup replaces that. So I'm going to set up now, and I'll show you how to begin, and I'll go through the measurements as I go. I'll be back soon. Right, and the reason why I love this recipe is because it doesn't need a lot of work. It's very simple, there's no beating or anything uh, technical. So it's, it's brilliant and it's cooked pretty quickly and it can be eaten either hot, straight out of the oven or cold. It's, it's just great. Um, it's like a malt loaf kind of, or tea bread. It's all of, it comes into that category. Um, it's not a cake, but it's very similar, just more of a bready texture. Um, so what you'll need is 350 grams of ripe bananas. That's the peeled weight. Okay, it's not them in the skins. It usually works out to large bananas, something like that. Um, <clears throat> or 12 ounces. 350 grams or 12 ounces, thereabouts. You'll need two large eggs beaten in a jug and I've put a tablespoon of milk in there okay um, you'll need 50 grams of melted butter and I've melted mine there ready to rumble you'll have to let it cool don't put it in hot but I'll talk about that later you'll need 150 grams or five ounces of uh, golden syrup this is Lyle's golden syrup it's one of the best in the UK. It has the uh, royal approval. I think the Queen eats it. <laughs> um, 185 grams of self-raising flour. That's six and a half ounces, something like that. Yeah, six and a half. Um, and a pinch of salt. I'm going to put a pinch of salt in that flour there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mash up my banana. Okay until it's all soggy, like a little bit like baby food <laughs> um, and I'm going to line my tin so uh, once I've done that I'll come back okay I'm back, I've mashed up my banana it's nice and squidgy <laughs> and soft and then I add to this my um, golden syrup now there's different methods so please don't be thinking that's not the way I do it but this is the way I kind of put all the wet ingredients together and I'm going to add the golden syrup, all right, to the mash. Banana. There's no sugar in this recipe because the golden syrup is a substitute and there's lots of it. <laughs> okay, so that's my golden syrup added. And I'm just going to mix that through. There's nothing to this. It's all basically chucked in a bowl, folded through, put in your cake tin and then put in the oven. That's it. Okay, so I'll mix that wet ingredients through to the banana. Can you see? It's all nice and distributed evenly. Okay, um, it's quite banana. I can smell it from here. So you bring your flour, I hope this is in focus. Okay, and you make a well in the center. And we start adding the wet ingredients. So, first of all, I'm going to add my eggs. 
Now this is two eggs beaten with a tablespoon of milk. So I add my eggs and then add whoops, all the banana. Way rocket science. Here we are. That's as complicated as it's going to get, really. And then with a spoon, we mix that through, folding it through. Okay. Okay. I'm folding the mixture through. And at this point, once it's starting to go, I add my melted butter. You don't want it hot. You don't want the butter hot. Um, but it doesn't have to be freezing cold, but um, cool. You know, room temperature. And then you add your butter. There's uh, two ounces or 50 grams in that. Um, Pre-set your oven to a hundred and let me think now um, I think it's 150 if it's a fan oven and 170 if it isn't um, I'll put all of the recipe and uh, temperatures at the bottom of this tutorial and as you can see I'm just mixing all of the wet ingredients through. I'm not doing anything special. I'm just making sure the flour is incorporated to the wet ingredients. And when you're kind of happy, it's quite liquid. Don't let that bother you. Um, you can add your chopped walnuts, um, 50 grams or 60 grams, or you can just emit the nut section if you've got any nut allergies. It's just as good. My children aren't so keen on walnuts, so we replace it with hazelnuts. So I'm just going to add those now. And again, just incorporate that into the mixture. And that's it. That's it. <laughs> okay. Um, you bring over your loaf tin. I've lined the base. I haven't lined the edges because... It, it's it's okay it's fine and then we add the wet mixture it smells good actually okay um, and you pop that in an oven it should take 20 minutes um, but I'll, it depends on how large uh, of eggs you've used but um round about 20 minutes so I'm gonna put that in the oven now and show you what it looks like when it's ready Okay, I've taken it out of the oven um, and placed it on a cooling rack. It actually took a little bit longer than I expected. Um, I think my, my eggs were rather large, um, I have to say. Um, and it also depends on how efficient your oven is. Um, it's always an interesting subject when people say, oh, it takes so and so to make. It's very dependent on um, your oven and the ingredients that you've used. This actually took 28 minutes. I timed it. Um, but if it takes 30 or 35, you just keep it in. And the way to test it is to place a knife or um, a toothpick cocktail stick in the centre. If it comes out clean, it's ready to rumble. If it comes out wet, put it back in. So, you know, let's not get hung up on um, the length of time that it would take. Between 20 and 30 minutes. Maybe a little bit longer. Who knows? So it's cooling now, it smells delicious actually, but I'm not finished yet. With the remaining golden syrup that I've got left in uh, this bowl, I'm just going to add some glaze. So with a pastry brush, I'm just going to add some of the syrup to the bread. And while it's, while actually the bread's warm, because it, it'll soak through and give it that lovely flavour that we all recognise. Um, I'm just placing that on liberally, not too much, you know, just enough for flavour. And it also gives it a lovely glaze too and adds to its prettiness. I mean this isn't um, a showstopper, you know, this is all about taste and how easy it is to make. I mean, crikey. <laughs> um, I didn't have to do anything really apart from place the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients 
mix it through and chuck it in the oven. It's quick and it's easy and it's a great way of utilising um, all bananas that would have normally gone in the bin. So I've, I've glazed that as on the top. Give it that lovely um, glazed effect. And you could add um, nut walnuts to it, but I'm going to just add some chopped hazelnuts because it's uh, a hazelnut banana loaf. I'm just adding a little for garnish. Is that the word? <laughs> garnish. Okay. Um, but that's it. Now it can be eaten now. I mean, usually my children are around me going, I want it now. Um, and it's gone in 30 seconds. But you can leave it uh, and store it. And it will last for about three to five days. But I don't think it'll last that long. I think you'll eat it. <laughs> so thanks for your time. Um, tune in soon. There'll be more tutorials coming. I'm doing a tutorial on how to make a fondant dog. Um, and that will be uploaded within the next couple of days. Thanks for your time. Bye.